Guys, we're going big this week. Uh, we've got absolutely incredible lineup of guitars for you to go through this week in our shipping video. And um, yeah, just absolutely stunning ones. Uh, it's funny, just some weeks, it's, uh, there's more than others depending on the flow of, uh, of product going through your manufacturing. And, uh, and some weeks are just even more beautiful than others. And um, it's hard to always choose, but yeah, there's just some things here that really, really catch in my eye, like this beautiful Kestrel uh, and a Chimera here. And uh, what else? Oh, I love this, uh, the black quilted maple on this one. Um, Red Royal Ebony. These beautiful bursts on here. Even just black carbon is just beautiful in its, uh, in its understated way. Beautiful nylon. Um, so a lot, a lot of guitars. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through it a little bit faster this week as well. So I might go through all the specifications of the pickup systems um, just to, to keep it flowing a little bit faster. So, uh, so for instance, when it comes to like a high vibe, you'll know that you can go to our YouTube ch channel and, uh, and find more details about how those uh, different pickup systems work and things. So we'll just keep it flowing a little bit faster. And uh, as always at the end, I'm gonna do a little slideshow with the stock guitars as well. These are all our custom builds. And uh, when I get down this end, I've got a few questions that I'm going to answer. So, uh, so let's jump into it. We're going to start at the beginning, as always. And uh, a nice one to start with. This is going to Gary in Gloucester. And uh, this is a purple quilted maple uh, Virtuo. And um, I'm going to have to do another video of the, the Virtuo. Um, or, well, spe specifically a purple quilted maple Virtuo. Because uh, we did a video a few years ago with uh, Davey playing Purple Rain. We'd actually played it on a baritone and uh, wasn't, we kind of gave him the wrong guitar for the job. But um, yeah, we're going to have to get a video of Davey playing the Virtue, uh, playing Purple Rain on it or something like that. What a beautiful guitar. So vibrant weave purple back and sides, uh, purple quilted maple top and uh, white um, Celtic knot in lace. And that is absolutely divine. What a way to start, and it just keeps on going. Now, another really nice specification going out to David and Kent. We're actually all talking about this one in the office. Um, so, uh, so this one is black quilted maple on the top, and it's vibrant amber back and sides. So uh, really quite a contrast between the two, but, um, but it really works. And, uh, and yeah, as I say, the guys in the office were, were talking about this one, and uh, I can see why. So chrome hardware really works on top of that and uh, the gold in lace and uh, that just kind of ties in with the gold on the back and sides. So um, giving it the, the gold logo up on top there as well. So it's kind of got that nice contrast between gold, chromes and blacks. Nice one. Next up we're uh, going to Florida for Mark and uh, Mark's got a virtual with a uh, Pau Ferro top, gold hardware, gold Celtic knots, and again that vibrant amber back and sides. And I think the, the vibrant weave has become such a popular choice in the last while, um, and it just it really stands out. Um, but you still have the subtle beauty of the, the black carbon weave as well. So Albert in California. So from Florida to California, two of my favorite places, um, an X20. Uh, finished in uh, in black carbon, uh, sort of. Well, I guess the original amber. So it's black carbon with amber over the top, and uh, that's what you get with that. And it's got the dual pickup system with the six Graf Tech piezos and K and K Pure Minis. Now we got two guitars going to Leslie in Ontario. The first of which is an Amicus, and uh, this is an Amicus with Circotti on top. Got that really nice dark rich uh, color to the zircotti uh, with the black grains running through it and uh, the dark amber back inside so that dark amber works really really well with the zircotti very similar tones as you can see hopefully it's picking up well on the camera and uh, and that's got the uh, lr bags element pickup system actually i, I think i saw a uh, a question the other day somebody was asking about what pickup systems you can get on the um, on the Amicus the only system we do offer is just the uh, LR bags element and the reason being all the adjustable pickups that we use uh, the graph tech systems we can't use them on a 12 string so we're a little bit more limited on that so the second one going out to Leslie 
is the X20 Candy Stripe Paduk. And I uh, love the top on this. It's got some really nice details. So it's uh, the, the variations in color between those reds. But I just love these little uh, marks here. These little knots kind of coming in sideways and just that distortion in the grain uh, just uh, adds a lot of character there. And I just love how they, they nicely place as if they were placed exactly right uh, to the contour of the guitar. So a uh, lovely little detail. The inlays is the silver vines running up the fretboard and uh, amber back and sides with a high vibe pickup system. So that's a really nice pair going out to, to Leslie. And uh, oh, what I should say, it's a baritone scale. Almost missed that. So uh, that's a longer scale length. It's a 27 inch baritone scale. And um, don't do a lot of baritone guitars, but, uh, but yeah, they're very successful. Work out really nicely. Now, off to Edward in Wisconsin. And um, this, as I say, it just caught my eye. I was always walking across. And um, I think what caught my eye is just the, the pattern in this uh, quilted maple. It's got uh, the quilting running through it, but it's also got this other grain pattern that runs through here as well. And uh, it just adds a lot of character. I uh, really love it. The colors on the top just look beautiful. It's got the silver rings, which I think is a nice uh, inlay. It works nicely with that top. And the black carbon back and sides and the high vibe. A beautiful X20. John in Delaware has gone for an X20 lefty. And um, look at that beautiful piece of Royal Ebony. And uh, Royal Ebony just always catches my eye just for the the patterns and we have another one coming up next as well with a great pattern on it and um, what I like in this one is just how we've got this straight pattern the straighter grain running down that center and it just looks like it's an extension of the neck running right the way through here and uh, and I think that just really frames nicely and uh, and then the more abstract patterns running off to the side um, yeah very nicely executed there so uh, x20 lefty High vibe pickup system and uh, solid black back and sides. So we, we rarely do a solid black color, um, but uh, we've done it on that. And, uh, very nice. So let's go to John in Delaware. Then Robert in Tennessee. Right, look at that. So this is an X30. Uh, again, Royal Ebony, beautiful top. I love the darker colors all down the side and then getting lighter towards the center. Again, it does that similar thing of the other one. Uh, it just kind of puts all the focus towards the center uh, where the bridge and the, uh, and the strings are. And um, yeah, yeah, absolutely wonderful. Fan fret, uh, I haven't checked the scale on this, but I'm guessing it's probably a 25 to 26 inch scale on here for the fan fret and um, it's got high vibe pickup system, black carbon back and sides. That is a wonderful jumble. Very nice. Now, Scott in Texas. Scott, I'll probably go as far as to say this might be my favorite guitar this week. Uh, and a close tie with the one that's coming just after. Um, this is a, a Kestrel nylon string. We don't do a, a lot of um, nylon versions of this, but we have in the past on, on a few occasions. And, uh, and it's, yes, it gives a really nice, unique tone. Um, this one is just to look at is absolutely divine. And, uh, and that rich, warm tone off it as well. Uh, sounds great. So Royal, uh, sorry, not Royal Ebony, uh, Redwood Burl on top. And uh, just the back book match as it draws in underneath that uh, floating bridge works really well. Just uh, look how the tail piece is configured there. Such nice detail on that top. And then running up that fretboard with the, uh, the Celtic vines and into that slotted headstock. Back and sides is amber, gold hardware. 
and it's got uh, six Graftec piezos built into the bridge, a KK Pure Minis inside, so it's got a really nice uh, full pickup sound. Now, Tim in Florida. Wow, check this one out. That's a beautiful Chimera. So, um, so there's a few things going on with this one. Uh, Tim had some very specific requirements on the pickup system on this. Um, so it's, uh, it's got a Leller Bags Anthem running off the 12 string side and uh, two separate outputs. And then we've got the Graftec piezos and, uh, and the Crevo humbucker here on the bottom side. So, uh, so combination system. Um, and, uh, I'm sure it'll, it'll work really, really well for his needs. Um, Paul Ferro top, uh, beautiful colorations on this, really nice glow to that colors on the top. We've got uh, the Celtic knots running on both necks. And then the vibrant amber back and sides. But uh, just a, a great thing to look at. So Tim, make sure you send us some pictures whenever you get that guitar. I'd love to see it being played, uh, see how you intend to use it. Um, right, okay, so I said I was gonna answer a few questions when I got this in, so let's, uh, let's do this. So we've been doing this over the last couple of weeks. Uh, just questions that are appearing on our YouTube channel. And um, this is just a, a quick selection. So the first one, Wayne Levert asked, uh, I understood the Fireburst was a limited edition. Uh, in this video, you say it will be a model and color that would be available with the inlay and uh, the inlay would be available for other models. Now I don't consider the Fireburst as limited as I first thought. Um, well, Wayne, I'm sorry you feel like that, but I just wanted to explain this and it's very important. Um, I give great thought to whether or not we would offer those um, specifications on other models. And the reality is whenever we do something that's really unique, people are always asking for it. And it's very hard for us to say no to, you know, if we've created something in the past, a color, uh, you know, like purple we had there, you know, people are pushing us to do it. So we know we're gonna get asked for it. And, uh, and I don't like to say no. And I like whenever we create something for it not to just disappear into, into uh, the background. But the, start, the Fireburst had to be unique and it is unique. And what's unique about it is it was a collection of 20 guitars. Uh, all the veneers and those were hand selected by me. All the inlays are hand carved by me. Uh, you get a certificate of authenticity. Uh, they're all numbered and signed uh, one to 20. So there's some details in there that make them really quite, uh, quite special and different. Um, and, uh, and that was all a package that was put together. Uh, and there weren't, it wasn't an elevated cost or anything, it was just a specific package. Um, so I, I hope that that makes it feel like it is special. And, and to me, they're really special. In the future, as we offer that, uh, what we're gonna do if we have to do any more of those inlays, uh, it'll be digitized and the cavities will be created by CNC. So instead of each one being unique, each one's gonna be exactly the same from now on. So it just, uh, it's, you're gonna get something that, that's given that same essence of it, but really not the, I guess, the, the, the spirit of the handmade uh, elements that were done personally by me. So, uh, so hopefully that differentiates it enough for you, Wayne. Uh, but I just wanted to explain that. Um, and to me, I, I have zero, zero, and it's, to me it's a, it's a special and it will always be unique. Um, so, um, Jay Peter uh, asks, interesting you talking about selling left-handed guitars. Isn't the case that every guitar bought is money in the bank uh, for you, so why the reluctance to make left-handed guitars of every model? Okay, so the question was about where we're gonna do a left-handed X7. Um, the reality is it's just the cost of the mold. You know, it costs thousands and thousands of dollars to, uh, to put together a new mold, put all the jigs and everything together to bring a new model to life. And, uh, and when we try and break that cost down over the life cycle of uh, a different model, then, um, you know, it's just hard to, to make that pay. Just, it, it just the numbers don't add up. Uh, also, we've got a long list of new models that we'd like to bring to life if we were going to spend all that money on a new mold. Um, so, uh, so we always have to balance those things out. Uh, development time is, uh, is limited, so it's just really hard to do that. So, uh, so that's where we're at at the moment. Um, Scorpio uh, says, I was disappointed my X20 didn't make it in the shipping video. 
Uh, okay, so we actually had a look back there. So uh, I was able to find your guitar. Uh, I wasn't able to find the picture, but hopefully we can find that and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll bring it in there. But uh, yeah, it was a really nice piece of candy stripe Paduk. Don't know why it wasn't the shipping video, um, or maybe it wasn't one that was missed that you didn't see or something. But uh, but here's the picture here of it now, and it's a beautiful guitar. Um, Dwight Donahue says, Alistair, you must be so proud of how far your dream has come. Look forward to your shipping videos every week. You've no idea how proud I am. I walk through this building here, and I see it, you know, from used to be a flourishing uh, toy company years ago to becoming a a dead space where there was no work going on for years and now we've entirely re-renovated this whole factory and every time I walk through I just I feel so proud and so excited of being able to breathe new life into this and do what we do every day and build these beauties so uh, yeah I'm filled with pride um, and uh, somebody here says I have three emeralds two customs and one stock none of them made a shipping video kind of disappoint but I think we need to look into this for you because I'm pretty sure they were in shipping videos um, in some way. I, I, we might miss one or two here and there, but I can't see it being three, but we will look into that. Um, somebody's asking here, got one of a few sets of the new tone double wounds uh, shipped with my amicus. Uh, we'll get on that and we'll send them across. Um, yeah, I think that's sort of the main ones for now. and. Uh, but yeah, keep sending your, your questions. It's always good to, to, to have that. And uh, you know, we're trying to address concerns and questions and stuff. So if you have a, you know, something you're unsure about, definitely throw it in there. We'll try and get it answered. So back to guitars. Francis in South Carolina. Uh, another beautiful virtue. And uh, this virtue is Pau Ferro. And uh, again, really like how this Pau Ferro presents. Uh, just the the, uh, the lighter wood coming out there from nothing and behind the pickup uh, flaring out framing that uh, bridge very nicely and then fading down to the end and that that's just a, a really nice configuration um, inlay on the fretboard here is the the gold vines black hardware and an amber back and sides lovely Then we've got Sebastian in uh, Louisiana. Now, so this is uh, an X10, or yeah, the X10 Slimline. Um, so similar body to the Virtual. And uh, the first thing I noticed when I lifted is just how much lighter it is. So it's built quite a, little, quite a lot differently. Uh, and then we don't have all the hardware and the magnetic pickups and uh, it makes a, a remarkable difference. Um, it's uh, got the, uh, the sorry, Graftech piezos and the K and K Pure Minis inside. Uh, nice subtle two little volume wheels here. Um, it's a it's a small slim body, but it's a very nice responsive top. So it's got a lot of punch and snap off it acoustically. Performs well on stage. I say it's really nice and light. Uh, beautiful proportions. White um, vine inlays on the fretboard here and black carbon all around. And uh, it's a slimline stage acoustic. I think that's a wonderful instrument. And this is a great thing, you know, every guitar has its own specific niche. And this is one of the things that I really fought very hard to do. Uh, you know, we're talking about bringing new models to life. I always want to have my model line that everything has a very distinct reason for existing. Um, it's not just variations of the same theme. You know, and each guitar, I, I can tell you, has a very different place that it might fit into your different needs. And that's the reason some people have 10 emeralds. Um, they all do different things. And you know, like this one again, very, very different guitar to the X10 Slimline. This is uh, the X10 Full Body. And, uh, and this does very different things than that. And hopefully I do a good job over the shipping videos explaining those differences. Um, so again, Paul Ferro on an X10 body. And this is the full thickness body. We'll just uh, very quickly look at the, at the comparison between them. That's the X10 Slimline on the X10 Full Body. Both the exact same contours on the back, both the exact same profile on the top. So it's really just down to the depth. So this one has our full pickup system and it. it's got the six graph take piezos. It's got the Crevo humbucker. It's got the MIDI connectivity here. 
get your three volume controls and all your switching in between. So this is a very versatile um, uh, amplified plugged in acoustic guitar as well. Gives you an awful lot of variation and tone going between all those different pickup systems and, uh, and still has a really nice full acoustic sound even when it's unplugged as well. Um, veneer on the top of this one, again Paul Farrell. And uh, again, you know, I just I love how the veneers can just kind of hug around the neck and frame the bridge. And you guys do a great job at positioning them. You know, we give you guys the freedom now with the, the slider on the uh, 3D builder to position the veneer exactly where you want. And this is a really great example of that. Having that, uh, that little V of the, the lighter wood here, just framing the, the pickup and, uh, and the end of the fretboard looks wonderful. And, uh, and this knot just coming in here between the pickup and the bridge, very nicely placed and um, looks amazing, really does. White uh, inlays on the fretboard in this one and the vibrant amber back and sides. Yeah, that's a beauty. Did I mention the name? I think I didn't. That's going to Scott in Iowa. Thomas in Arizona. And uh, this is another X10 and uh, similar body, different pickup system. So this has got the Graftech piezos uh, and just one volume control mounted here. And, uh, and this one is finished in purple carbon. Gold rings on the fretboard. And, uh, and that purple carbon just has a really nice subtle uh, purple glow to it. Really like that with the black hardware. Then we have Christopher in uh, Connecticut. Um, okay, so this is the first 12 string, I guess only 12 string in today's video. And uh, this is a, um, this is an X7 12 string. And uh, so really nice uh, proportions to this. So it's a nice small body, powder size 12 string guitar. And uh, not a very common thing. So you don't see the smaller body 12 strings very often. But uh, in this configuration works very nicely. You've got a shorter scale length, 24 inch scale. So uh, it just reduces the overall tension, makes it that little bit uh, easier to play um, and, uh, and make chords on this. And, uh, and yeah, beautiful finishes. The Royal Ebony top, again, it's got that similar kind of lines running down like the, the lefty that we looked at, just framing and uh, like an extension of the neck running right the way through there. Um, we've got the gold vines with leaves running up the fretboard. We've got a vibrant amber back and sides, which is very common in this week's shipping video and the high vibe pickup system. So, uh, so yeah, if you're looking for a 12 string, um, definitely consider a carbon fiber 12 string because it is going to transform your, your understanding of what a 12 string guitar can be. Jody in New York, uh, this is an X7. Um, six string and this one is candy stripe paduke as well. Very different than, uh, than some of the other candy stripe padukes as you can see. Uh, similar uh, wood but uh, just different colorations. It's, um, it's got a, a dark red almost, uh, almost purplish kind of hues coming through that which is really nice uh, and the browns in the center. So uh, really nice colorations on that piece of veneer. White dots on the fretboard black carbon back and sides, and a high vibe pickup system, which, uh, which I feel is a really good choice on an X7. Then we're going to a nylon. This is an X7 nylon. So uh, really nice to see that variation of X7s between the 12 string, six string steel, and the six string nylon. Um, so black carbon, and uh, so it's a 24 inch nylon guitar. So, uh, you know, it's slightly lower tension and um, we make this top quite a bit different uh, to make it more responsive. Um, black carbon all round, gold hardware and, uh, and a high vibe pickup. So then we've got another one. This is, uh, this is also an X7. Um, but this is a steel string with a slotted headstock. So nice variation on the X7s this week. So, um, so yeah, it's, uh, we do the similar style headstock to we do in the, um, 
uh, and the nylon guitar, but we can do it for a steel string. Um, so it just gives that really nice, unique look. Uh, purple carbon. Really nice, subtle purple carbon there. And it's got the six graph take piezos with the K and K pure minis. And that's going to Quinn in British Columbia. Now, there's another nice X7. X7's been popular this week. Uh, this is Vibrant Amber, or sorry, Vibrant Red X7. And that Vibrant Red just really pops. I think it's one of the real standout colors. Um, something about it just really, it, uh, it's a color that just glows. Um, we've got the silver Celtic knots and chrome hardware. I think chrome and red work really nicely together. I've seen a lot, a lot of configurations and uh, I really like that. Again, high vibe pickup system. That's just, that's just beautiful. It's like a ruby. So that's going to Francesco in California. Then we've got Patricia in California and, uh, and this is a Harborica X7. And um, yeah, it's, it's really nice just seeing them all together. You just see how they have such a different character. You know, this is a really nice warm goldy glow off it, but with the combination of the black running through. So the Harborica has, uh, has just a real nice um, kind of glow and uh, iridescence that comes off the, the lighter woods. Uh, and then the black that, that breaks it up. Um, gold dots on the fretboard, gold hardware, and an amber back and sides. So again, really nice complementary colors on that guitar. Last one on the rack here is uh, Jose in Pennsylvania. And, uh, and this is um, purple carbon. Sorry, purple quilted maple. I don't want to say I'm purple carbon. Uh, purple quilted maple with uh, purple carbon back and sides. And uh, that's a, a beautiful amicus. So uh, the amicus is our little small body 12 string guitar. If you haven't seen it, just go to the YouTube channel and, uh, and see some performances on the amicus. It's, it's something really, really special. And, uh, and that purple is really, really nice. Um, okay, down to our last four. So I hope you're still with me. Uh, if you've been watching right, right the way through, um, thanks for, for continuing on on this. And I, there's just been such a beautiful range of guitars. Um, I find myself watching these videos back myself on a Friday night or something. And I just get sucked into watching them because I get a different appreciation when I'm seeing them on the screen than when I'm actually just standing here doing it. But uh, check this out. Um, an amazing piece of Royal Ebony just the the contrast between the dark and the red here absolutely looks amazing and uh, it just pops actually i've got to check because i'm not sure is this royal ebony this could be something else um with that transparent red maybe hides the detail a little bit but i'm going to have to have a look at that but i'm going to go with royal ebony um for now got the silver quilt uh sorry Silver Celtic knots on the fretboard and a red carbon back and sides with a high vibe pickup system. But uh, yeah, I just love the, the subtle reds there, but then this warm, uh, brighter red running down that V in the center. Uh, just really, really is eye catching. So that's going to Joel in California. Then Greg in Michigan. Uh, this is uh, a Colton Maple Vintage Amber Burst and uh, really nice colorations on that. Um, really beautiful burst with that Colton Maple. It's got the white vines running up the fretboard, gold hardware and uh, this has got the uh, Phoenix Orange back and sides. So, uh, so yeah, it's, it's kind of like the Fire Burst colors there that Phoenix, Phoenix Orange and uh, high vibe pickup system. So um, really nice details on there. Love it. Yeah, we've got another really nice vintage amber burst. Uh, Ron in Washington. 
and uh, and this one is uh, flame maple I'm pretty sure um, so it's got that much more sort of subtle flame pattern running across rather than the big quilting that we have on uh, on the other maples that we do uh, that really nice vintage amber burst run there the silver Celtic knots and uh, again the fire burst colors there and that uh, Phoenix orange back and sides. Now, last one is going to Michael in New York. And uh, we're finishing off on a beautiful red X20, red carbon. And um, I think I can actually remember the very first time I did a transparent red over carbon. And uh, it was, I think we, at the time, we were probably just doing all black carbons. And, uh, and then I tried doing a transparent color over the top and red was the very first one I did and I loved it and as you can see we continue on to do it. So, uh, so red was what started a trend and started a new direction way way back uh, almost I guess that was probably 22, 23 years ago. Um, so it's got that X20 with those beautiful contours and uh, the contoured back. And really, this is the guitar that has taken us so, so far when we designed the X20 uh, just over 10 years ago. It, um, it really transformed us and took us to where we are today. Um, so, uh, it's got that Graftech Piezo k and Pure Minis inside. And it's a beautiful guitar to finish on. So, uh, so Michael in New York finishes off our, uh, our shipping video today, or almost, because we've got a slideshow of our stock guitars. But thanks for watching. Uh, if you watched in last week's video, I think it was last week's video, we did the, the tour around the, um, the setup area just upstairs. And, uh, and just I spent the entire week just sorting out all the storage areas in there, getting all the components moved up. And this morning, as we speak, the guys are doing the first setups of guitars up in there. Um, so fantastic to have moved up. And maybe next week we'll take you and give you a tour of the actual finished area. So our plaque machine is up in there and everything's great. And uh, I want to talk earlier in the video about pride. That's the sort of thing gives me pride. Just seeing how far we've come. And just talking with Shane, uh, who's the head setup guy. Um, it's the third time he's moved, you know, and we had a bench in the corner of a, a dusty workshop to we had the, the loft area in the other building where he had been doing setups to now up in this building up here, uh, which is like such a transformation. And, uh, and it's been just amazing to see how far it's gone. And it's only six years ago when he was working in that dusty corner. And um, so, yeah, it's the last five or six years. Well, this is our 25th year, and we haven't really talked about that so much yet, but uh, we're celebrating 25 years of Emerald Guitars this year. And, um, but uh, the last five or six years really is where all the growth has been and the big changes and developments. And it's been so exciting. And for all you guys that watch here weekly and feel like you're part of it, you really are part of it, you know, your comments, your support, uh, it really is what fuels us, it what you know drives us and inspires us and keeps us on doing what we're doing. And, uh, and thanks for being part of that. So, uh, so see you next week. We'll leave you with some of the stock guitars and uh, have a great week wherever you are.